Hi, it's Rie. Today, a friend will be challenging me to take a popular food and make it fancy. Today's guest is Kali. What's up, Rie? It is I, possibly one of your favorite people. I don't know how you can reinvent the wheel with Takis and make something that's so good better, but if I know anything is for certain, I know that the sun will come up tomorrow and I know that Rie will continue to kill it. So I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Takis. I have had a Takis before. A lot of people said, don't eat too much because you get acid reflux. The lime is the key component. It's very addictive. Oh, yeah. Takis spiciness comes right at you. It's spicy, but it kind of disappears, so you kind of want to keep eating. I like the flavor, so I kind of want to keep this uh, flavor combination because spicy and limey is very delicious. And color is very bright red. So I think it's going to be interesting if we can use this red color. I want to make this a meal more than just a snack. My fingers are red. I forgot to bring my lipstick, so maybe I can just put it on. <laughs> As always, I'm excited to make it fancy. All right, here's what I got. Limes, red onion, masa, microgreens, shrimp, cilantro, orange, avocado. There's one more lime. Lemon, sparkling water, crema, and garlic. From the pantry, I got vegetable oil, sugar, flour, white vinegar, simple syrup, salt, baking powder, and dragon fruit powder. All right, let's get started. Make it fancy. First step, one and a half cup water, half cup sugar, two teaspoon of salt, four smashed garlic, 20 takis. Bring this to a boil and steep this for about 10 minutes. I think this is a great thing for Halloween. It's like I'm poaching bones and blood. Maybe next year I'm gonna just cook this in front of my house. It has been simmering for about 10 minutes. I'm going to strain over red onion. Let it pickle at least one hour. Cut avocado. The pit, I think I saw Alex's Instagram story. You kind of hold and push. Perfect. I think I heard a lot of people get injured hacking and twisting. I think this TikTok hack is very useful. Add in a blender, quarter cup of crema, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one garlic, quarter cup of cilantro, a little bit water first. So it's gonna blend smoothly. And I'm going to blend until vibrant green. Do you know what Japanese people call avocado? Mori no bata. It is butter from forest. Right, crema looks great. Add in the bowl. And we are moving on to the next step. Two cups of takis. Bring on the food processor. Put this in a bowl. I'm adding two tablespoons of ground takis. Half cup of masa. Harina, one tablespoon of dragon fruit powder, just for the color. Quarter teaspoon of salt, mix it up. Oh, this is beautiful. Add quarter cup of warm water to start, and I'm going to keep adding as needed. When do you think Takis were invented? 1962. 1999. Wow, so it's a... Recent invention. Introduced in America in 2006. I came to New York in 2007, so me and Otaki were in America very similar time. We are both immigrants. Well, though it's coming together, so I'm going to use my hand. This is so pretty. The texture should be like Play-Doh. It's slightly wet, but it's not sticky. We are going to cover this and let it sit in room temperature about one hour but we have plenty of things to do. Now it's a little bit firmer and I'm going to divide into four and make it like a golf size ball. Another torture device. <laughs> Put parchment paper on the bottom, another parchment paper and press it. Beautiful. I used tortilla press, but if you don't have it at home, you can roll it up with rolling pin. Cook this in a pan. Since this tortilla looks so pretty, I will cook one minute per side. I don't want to make any brown or burnt color. You're 
remember the first time you met Curly? I just remember he's so sweet and nice to everyone. I always wanted to be friends with him. He brought his grandma for a tasty shoe. He was holding her hand and one of my coworkers had a fake cockroach on the desk. I think it was close to Halloween or something. And Kari just like quietly hide it because like she, he didn't want to scare her. And I thought it was so cute. Okay, I see a little bubble and I think it's ready. I want to keep this warm and I don't want to break it. So I'm going to put under the blanket. I always wanted to make this. My dream came true. I'm not using oil because it's a non-stick pan. This looks cooked. Put this here, keep it warm. I'm going to finish making tortillas and I'm gonna move on. I'm heating up oil to 350. While oil is heating, I'm going to make butter. One cup of flour, quarter cup of takis. This is the powder I made earlier. Half teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, mix. When I make this dish, I usually use beer, but since Kali doesn't drink, I'm using sparkling water. You don't want to over mix it, you just like lightly mix. I have eight shrimps, peeled and deveined. Seasoned shrimp with salt, coat with flour, dredge is in butter. It's kind of look like a, what's the medicine? Pepto-Bismol. And I'm going to fry. And I don't want to overcrowd my oil so i'm going to fry maybe four at the time wow it kind of looks like a giant cheetos too the sparkling water kind of gives nice airy texture shrimp cooks very quickly so i'm just cooking about two minutes when the oil bubbles start coming and shrimp it's floating on the surface, it's ready. It's cute, but if somebody who is eating this for the first time, they couldn't guess this is a shrimp. It's basically a tempura. Because tempura, you want to use seltzer water. And I think, um, yeah, the baking soda also gives nice fluffy texture too. All shrimp are fried, but we have some more things to do. Leftover takis powder, adding flaky salt, toss a little bit glass using lime we are making mocktail put the glass upside down and kind of run the rip oh it's so cute so festive i'm gonna add ice in each glass Donk. ice in a shaker two ounces of orange juice one ounce lemon juice three ounce of lime juice and shake it Oh, it's icy. If you're making margarita, obviously you have to add tequila. You usually use triple sec, but triple sec is also has alcohol in it. So I used orange juice instead. I'm topping off with sparkling water and use lime as a garnish. All right, drinks are done and time to move on. Put tortilla on the plate. First, I'm adding avocado crema. Spread it using spoons back at the shrimp. Pickled onion and some microgreens. And I have some crema in a squeeze bottle. On top with cilantro. Since we have some leftover taki salt, going to sprinkle. And we are done. Shrimp taki tacos, very fancy. I don't know where you may have used the mm -hmm. takis, but I'm assuming it's in the tortilla. Yes, I made a tortilla with takis. <laughs> yeah, I also made a margarita virgin mocktail. I just went to a restaurant and I was like, hi, can I get a mocktail? And they were like, we're out of mock. And I was like, no, <laughs> um, it's, it's no mocktail. And she had no idea what I was saying. Somebody had to be like, virgin, virgin, virgin. <laughs> oh, yes, that we do. She is, yes. she is. Oh my god, this is truly one of the best tacos I've ever had. <gasps> oh my this god. This is so good. I'm from LA. Born and raised in Hollywood. <laughs> I'm from LA. Hands down, it's one of the best I've ever had. Yes. Thank you, Sabri. Wow, cheers. Cheers. Wee. Yes. How are you this perfect? <gasps> Do you think that I can make this? Of course, it's easy. Our Lord and Savior, Rie. <laughs> we have one last thing to do. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. Oh! Oh!